This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. In this video, I'm really excited to announce a new script from the Creative Dojo called the Dojo Orbit script. Now this is a very, very cool script because I've been working on it for quite a long time now. It's been a personal script I have kind of revamped and developed and I'm really excited to release it to the public. And essentially what it does is it allows you to pretty much arrange your layers into circular arrays, formations, spirals, allows you to do 3D orbits and stuff like that. It's a very, very handy script. And it's very handy for motion designers who, uh, you know, work with radial designs a lot. So it's a very cool script. Let's go ahead and check it out here. So this is the Dojo Orbit script. It has three modes. We have the dynamic expressions mode, the circular placement mode, and the 3D orbit mode, which I will go through each very, very quickly in this demo tour. So first off, the dynamic expressions mode here. And this is the full-fledged, you know, pseudo effect mode that allows you to do a lot of customizable keyframeable stuff here. So inside After Effects, I have a little quick circle animation that kind of looks like this, just a quick shape layer pop. And what I want to do is I want to duplicate this a few times. I have a script also called the Dojo Duplicator script, also a new script. And I want to go ahead and duplicate this circle 40 times. Hit duplicate. It's going to duplicate it 40 times. I'm going to select all these little circles here. I'm going to select the dynamic expressions and go ahead and select apply orbit. And what the script will do is it will actually apply a whole bunch of expressions and rig them up into the Dojo Orbit pseudo effect here. And by the way, if you're having troubles installing this script on Windows, make sure you're running After Effects as administrator for the first time launching this script, and it should apply the XML code properly. So make sure you run it as an administrator if you're running into issues on Windows here. So it's going to rig up the whole expressions here with all the layers, and it's going to apply it to the Dojo Orbit custom pseudo effect here. We can go ahead and put this to the side. And uh, as we scrub through this, you can see that all of our circles have been arranged in a perfect circular formation here. We can go into the radius size and go ahead and play with the radius. We can control how big the circle is. Also in the path options, we have a few options to control the path of the circle. So we can actually offset it and make a spiral. So we can, as you can see, we're creating a spiral shape. Now by default, it's set to one revolution or 360 degrees. If we change the spiral revolution to two, it'll create two revolutions here. As you can see, a little bit more, uh, Interesting here. Go back here. And then we can also play around with the uh, spiral offset, maybe shrink it down a little bit, play with the radius. And essentially just play around with it until it looks kind of right to what you're going after for. And uh, as you can see, if you go ahead and play around with it and kind of you know go to the negative values, you can create some pretty interesting designs uh, very easily. And all this is keyframeable, by the way. Also, if you go ahead and select all of our circles here and go ahead and make them 3D layers, we can actually go into the controller once again and go ahead and play with the Z offset and that will actually push this thing in Z space and offset it so that you can do some really nice fly throughs, really nice flying animations and you know offset things in Z position here. So it's very, very interesting, fully 3D, pretty awesome. Now if we go to the rotation tab, you can't really tell in this example, but if I go ahead and check orient rotation, it's going to actually rotate all the circles and point them to the path of the spiral here. So by default, everything is pointing upwards, but um, in this case, you can't tell once again, but it's actually rotating everything to face the proper orientation of the path. So it's really, really cool. And of course you can offset it as well. We can also go to the scale here. Let me just go ahead and turn off the uh, spiral offset. Maybe go ahead and just shrink this down a little bit. And if you go ahead and check the scale fall off, it's actually going to fade or taper things out. So we'd go and check that out. As you can see, things start off really, really small and they get larger and larger and larger. And of course we can offset this using the controls here. And that would just increase everything uh, proportionally to their size. And if you want your layers to not exceed the uh, original size, we can go ahead and check the limit original size. And then if we scale things up, the maximum size is gonna be the default size and uh, nothing larger than that. So as you can see, pretty cool. You can create some very interesting you know, animations this way very, very easily by fading things on, creating spirals, playing with the scale. Likewise, we have the opacity tab, which has the same controls. So it's gonna fade things off and gradually taper them out. And then we can have the opacity offset, which we can control what is actually opaque and uh, what is not here. So we can do some really interesting fades, really interesting uh, scale animations and stuff like that. So this is the dynamic expressions mode, you know, fully fledged using the pseudo effect. Very, very powerful controls and uh, all keyframeable. Let's go and take a look at the second mode here, the uh, circular placement mode. This is probably the most basic feature of the script, but I think it's very, very handy for those of you who, you know, 
Don't want a lot of expressions tied to your layers. Just want things to be in a circular formation. I know I want this a lot of times, and this is a really great way to do it, you know, without messing with expressions and stuff like that. This is a very, very basic circular placement feature. So I have this little pop animation here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it, uh, you know, maybe 15 times, hit duplicate. And we'll select all of our pop layers. And then from here, we can either hit the apply orbit, but I like to just go ahead and mess around with the radius here. So we can actually pull the radius slider, and it'll actually kind of preview what's going on in your animations here. So we can just preview this and play around with the slider, and that will adjust the radius of the circle here. We can also type in our values. So let's say 350, that will just place it 350 degrees in radius around this little center point here. And that's basically what it does. It doesn't apply any expression, it doesn't do anything. It just aligns your layers into a nice circular placement mode. And if you combine this with my Dojo Shifter script, again, also available at the Creative Dojo, we can actually offset these layers by, let's just say one frame. And we'll go descending, hit offset layers. It's going to offset all of our layers at the current time indicator here. And we do a quick RAM preview. Get some really, really interesting, nice little pops going on in a nice, perfect circular formation. And this is why this is very, very handy. Now, before we continue on with the next mode, I'm gonna go ahead and give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an awesome place to build your website, whether it's for a business, portfolio, or online store. Squarespace is a place to be. They have a very, very awesome page builder that allows you to build pretty much whatever you want, hassle-free, visually. They also have tons of very professionally well-designed themes for you to use and customize to your likings. You can go in there and tweak it to the way you like it. They have awesome 24-hour support. And for as little as $8 a month, you can create a very, very professionally well-designed website quickly with Squarespace 7. What's awesome is that if you go to squarespace.com dojo and use the promo code dojo at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo by using the promo code. So check it out, squarespace.com dojo, the best place to build a website. So back in After Effects, go and take a look at the last mode of the Dojo Orbit script. Now the last mode is 3D Orbit, and it allows you to pretty much create orbiting animations around a center object here. So in this case, I want to make these little spheres orbit around the sun here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the planets, and go ahead and hit 3D Orbit, and select one of the 3D modes here. So these are all fully 3D modes, so we can orbit around the X, Y, or Z axis. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Z Orbit mode and hit Apply Orbit. And by default, everything's using the same values here, but as you can see, everything's orbiting around the sun. If you go ahead and select the individual layers, we have a few slider controls that we can mess around with, particularly the radius. We can control the radius, you know, how far away is it from the center point here, the orbital center, no object here. We can control the rate at which it orbits around, so we can actually control how long it takes to complete one revolution. In this case, it's gonna take one second to complete one 360 degrees rotation. So we'll set this to maybe like two. We'll set the start angle to something else besides zero degrees and radians. And we have the speed multiplier, which allows you to pretty much just ramp up the speed if you wanted to. So we can just play around with these, play around with the radius here, maybe change the time to maybe like three and uh, pull this in. Then maybe we're gonna have the green one kind of furthest out in the way out one, and then we'll just maybe uh, play around the start angle and just keep it like that and go ahead and do a quick grand preview. And as you can see, we have all of our stuff orbiting around the center point here. And uh, you know, that's very, very cool, kind of fast, but in this case, pretty cool. And of course, if we parent the sun to the null object, and we can move the orbital center, it'll actually move the whole system with it. So that's pretty, pretty cool as well. And of course, we can actually go ahead and undo all that. And we can go ahead and select another orbit axis. So we can do the X axis and go ahead and hit apply orbit. And that will actually orbit it in a different way here. And as you'll see, our objects are actually rotating in the X axis, revolving around the sun in the X axis. And it looks really, really, really cool. And of course we can go in here and play around with uh, you know, the speed at which things go. So we can go in here and change it to, uh, you know, three, two, and the last one we'll leave at one. And, uh, you know, play around with the radius a little bit. Like that, and as you can see, some really nice orbital rotations. 
And of course, you can do this in the Y orbital axis as well. Turn on motion blur, and you get some pretty interesting results. So this is pretty much what the Dojo Orbit script is. You can find it at the Creative Dojo, absolutely free under the name your own price. Just set $0 if you want to get it for free or donate whatever amount you wish if you find the script useful. That's pretty much it guys for the Dojo Orbit script. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo. Hopefully you guys like the script. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.